Today I'm going to review Think Tank Urban Disguise 60. I've had this bag for almost three years. I bought it in 2007, September of 2007, and now it's uh, 2010, June. So I've had pretty good experience with this uh, particular shoulder bag. I use this for everyday carry. I'm a software engineer by trade, and I'm a, um, a photography enthusiast. Uh, this is what I carry in this bag daily. I bring this to the office. Uh, Nikon D40 with the kit lens. There's an Op Optech uh, strap for the camera. It's a pretty big compartment which will um, we'll try to fit other cameras in it in a moment. There's the kit, another um, DX lens for the um, for the Nikon uh, 55 to 200, and I also have Steiner binoculars here. In this compartment here, which is extremely handy, it's right in the, in the main compartment, but it's separated by this little gusset here. We have um, some memory cards, laptop connect card securely attached to this little handy loop um, think tank memory card wallet card reader lens cap and that's about it as you can see I keep this uh, shoulder bag pretty light I don't like to overpack now looking uh, further to the front we have one more zipper here with a lens pan, flashlight and a really handy little compartment here with, uh, with a zipper where you can keep some things that uh, you don't want flopping around here. Now keep in mind that both this compartment and this compartment share the same space so you have to decide where you're going to be keeping the majority of your items if you're keeping them here which i prefer then you know don't put too much stuff here just some handy paperwork and such all right moving forward we have um, two velcro tabs that secure the front flap and a buckle as you undo this, it reveals two big pockets here. I have a survival knife here, Falcon even F1. Everyone should have a survival knife with them at all times. A screwdriver. We have another zipper here with another compartment with um, a lot of dividers and a small zipper. I don't use this area a lot because it's hard to get to. It requires undoing the flap. All right. Now, what do we have next? Going backwards, we have the zipper for for the laptop compartment. And notice at the bottom, there's a small little padding there that um, keeps this area nice and square easily fits a large laptop. This is HP 6530B monstrosity we were issued at work. It uh, fits easily here with room to spare. You can easily put your charger right in here. Okay. Closes nice and tight. Now let's see what else we can fit here. I have a couple of uh, semi-professional and professional uh, cameras here that I'm going to try to fit. First, let's start with Nikon D3. It's easily in this compartment. Okay. Right there. Now, I don't have the 70 to 200 anymore uh, for either a Nikon or a Canon. So I'll use Canon's 
300 millimeter lens to show you that it will easily fit here as well. And then the second biggest lens I have is the um, Nikon 14-24, which will easily fit in this compartment. Even though it looks kind of squished, there is plenty of room at the bottom. Okay. Now notice how slim the bag is still. We'll zip this up. Let's close everything. Secure the. Notice how slim the bag is. Okay, so I put the EDC stuff that I carry every day back in the um, shoulder bag. Let's close it up. Actually, I don't normally carry the laptop with me all the time, only if I have a meeting or presentation. So typically this is empty and I have some paperwork in here. Without the laptop, this is extremely comfortable everyday carry bag because it conforms to your hip. The more you wear it, the more conforming it becomes. Very, very comfortable. So let's take a look at the at the back of it. Um, very cool features here as well. There's another zipper, almost full length, where you can keep magazines and paperwork. Huge. Next thing, we have this Velcro tab that opens up this flap. And notice the tension of detail here, tension to detail. I'm going to do this, open the zipper, and guess what? This becomes a flap that you can uh, use to put this shoulder bag over your carry-on. Extremely handy, works very, very well. We also have an area for your business cards here. Handy location to give out if you're a professional photographer or a consultant. Pretty cool. Now let's take a look at the front. This uh, pocket here has a stretchy material. This, uh, this is very handy to put your sunglass case in or a cell phone. I don't normally put a photo gear here because it's simply um, I, don't know, I don't feel like there's enough protection for it, but things like a sunglass case, no, no problem whatsoever. Alright, so exceptional everyday carry bag. One thing that I changed on it, which I didn't like, and this is a biggie for me, was the shoulder, shoulder strap. The original shoulder strap had a fixed shoulder pad on it. You couldn't move the strap in and out of it. So there is no way to transfer the weight of the bag on your shoulder without adjusting the length of it. With a movable shoulder strap you can easily transfer the bag forward or backwards. Easily transfer the weight of the bag front and back without ever adjusting the strap because of this shoulder pad okay. and you can do that throughout the day and it really helps in relieving some of the stress on your shoulder if you're carrying this for a long time if you're just grabbing this from your car to the office you're not going to notice but if you try to carry this for more than a few hours a day trust me this helps a lot so i just took a shoulder strap from a um, a Dell laptop bag and I, I've been using it ever since. This is the only thing I don't like about this bag. Everything else is simply perfect. I've used this for almost three years as I mentioned and I could not be happier with this shoulder bag. For everyday carry it's the best. Thank you for watching. See you. Bye bye.